Hello and hi. In this video, we will talk about um, subtopic 9.5 from the success, success workbook, page 202, which is the second order differentiation, turning points, maximum and minimum points. So we go straight to the concept. Suppose that I have a function y equals to a function of f of x means that uh, y can be say um, x squared plus 5 or maybe y can be e to the power of x so this is just y as a function of x and if we look at the graph if we plot the graph the graph will be y against x and say if I have uh, the curve Produce by plotting the graph looks something like this hence we can easily see that we have a maximum point there and a minimum point there and possibly there's a point of inflection as well if you look at the maximum point the obvious thing about maximum point or minimum point there will be tangent that passes through these points so as we know, the tangent is flat. Therefore, gradient of the tangent that passes through that do these points is equal to zero. So as a conclusion, I can say that we can see that at maximum point, maximum or minimum point the gradient function the value of the gradient function will equal to zero which indicates that the gradient of the tangent will equal to zero which means that dy over dx will equal to a zero Once we find the coordinate of the turning points by letting the first order derivative to be to to equals to zero, we can determine the nature of the turning points. To determine the nature of the turning points, we use second order derivatives. So there will be about, I think, three types of um, turning points. The first type is the maximum point. I forgot to put square there. Okay, the first point is maximum point. Second, no, the first nature is maximum point. Second nature of the turning points would be minimum point. And the third one is the point of inflection I would say or oh, inflection point for maximum point if you insert the value of x the value of the turning point inside second order derivative and you will get then you will get um, the value of second order derivative should be less than zero for minimum point the value of second order derivative should be greater than zero and for inflection point the value of second order derivatives should equals to zero and how does this point looks like um, maximum point should be something like this minimum point here point of inflection so be something like this this point here you can see that there's like sort of like a change of direction there let's have a look at a few examples 
if you turn to the page 2 or 5 of your success workbook, self access 9.5, question number 3. Okay, this question number 3 asks you to find turning points and determine the nature of those points. Take A, question A as an example. So we have y equals 2, 2 x to the power of 3 minus 3 x squared plus 5. If you do the first order derivative, dy over dx will equals to 6 x squared minus 6 x. And if you do the second order derivatives, you should get um, 12x minus 6. At the name points, the value of dy over dx should equal to 0. Hence, we have 6x squared minus 6x from here should equal to 0 factorize because we have common factor 6x this one uh, so we will get 6x times with x minus 1 equals to 0 which means that um, we have two coordinates here the first coordinate is when 6x equals to 0 and the second coordinate should be when x minus 1 equals to 0. If 6x equals to 0, then x should equals to 0 as well. And if x e minus 1 equals to 0, then x should equals to 1. If x equals to 0, then find the value. Corresponding value of y should be take from the original function there to find the value of y so you just insert the value of x into this function y so it uh, should be 2 times 0 to the power of 3 minus 3 times 0 to the power of 2 plus 5 easily see that y is just equals to 5 hence the first coordinate should be x0 y5 and for the second turning point, when x equals to 1, the corresponding value of y is equals to 2 times 1 to the power of 3 minus 3 times 1 to the power of 2 plus with 5 2 minus 3 so you should get 4. Second coordinate, second turning point has the coordinate 1, 4. It's 1, y, 4. So between these two points, which one is the maximum, which one is the minimum point? So what you do here, you insert the value of x into the second order derivatives. So if x is equal to 0, d squared y over dx squared is just equals to 12 times 0 minus 6 equals to negative 6 which is less than 0 hence the first point is the maximum point the second one if x is equals to 1 then second order derivatives should be again take from this um, equation second order equation insert the value of x you should get 6 which is greater than 0 hence this is a greater than 0 minimum point okay let's do one more example 
try question C. We have the function y equals to x times with x minus 2 to the power of 2. We should bring it down a little bit. Now we have um, a function, which is um, two functions, multiply each, each other, one function, multiply with the other function. So we need to use the product rule. So we let u, x as u, and x minus 2 squared as v. We find um, the, if, let me use the black pen, if u, equals to x and then u prime is equals to 1 the v is equals to x minus 2 squared then v prime is just by using the composite rule it's just equals to 2 x minus 2 to the power of 2 minus 1 times we have differentiation inside the bracket which is just 1 so v prime equals to 2 x minus 2 to the power of 1 expand we should get 2x minus 4 hence dy over dx is just equals to v u prime plus with u v prime v x minus 2 squared u prime is just 1 plus with u which is just x but multiply with v prime 2x minus 4 so I expand this equation, expand here, should get x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus with 2x squared minus with 4x. So you simplify like terms and like terms, like terms and like terms, 3x squared. Okay, sorry, this is 4x. Then like terms and like terms, minus 8x, and leaves us with just plus 4. So that is the first order derivative, first order derivative, dy over the s. And you find for second order derivatives, you should get 6x minus 8. Now we have our first order derivative, dy over the x. Second order derivative, 6x minus 8. Coordinate now. Uh, we want to determine the coordinate of turning points. Again, turning points happens when dy over dx is equals to zero. So we let this equation here, this one, equals to three x squared minus eight x plus four equals to zero. Factorize. Okay, when you do factorization, there will be three methods that you can use. First one is the cross method, second one is the formula method, and the third one is completing the square. So now I'm using the cross method, but you can always use your calculator. Calculator makes your life simpler. So do the normal factorization. You should get 2, 2 minus minus 2 equals to 0. Hence, this will yield to two points. The first one, we have 3x minus 2 equals to 0. Therefore, x is just equals to 2 over 3. And we find y equals to 2 over 3 times with 2 over 3 minus 2 squared. Press your calculator. Insert the value of x into this function to get the value of y. Press your calculator, you should get 1. Let me see. One five over 27 is a proper fraction. So the coordinate produced is 2, 3, comma. 1, 5 over 27. And then we find the second turning point. If x e minus 2 equals to 0, then x equals to 2. Again, 
take the value of x, insert into this equation to get the corresponding value of y. y is just equals to 2 times 2 minus 2 to the power of true, 2, so we should get 0. So the second coordinate, second turning point, should be 2, 0. Now you check for the nature of the turning point. So we use second order derivative. Take the value of x, insert into the second order derivatives, d squared y over dx squared equals to 6 times with 2 over 3 minus 8. So should get uh, I think by calculator you should get negative 4 which is less than 0 hence the first turning point is a maximum point same process goes for the second turning point insert the value of x into the function second order derivatives you should get 6 times 2 minus 8 12 minus 8 so you get 4 aha uh -huh. it's greater than 0 therefore second point is a minimum point okay as for your homework please complete question we have done a and b so complete question number three um c d no c if we've done c so complete b d and e so the conclusion for two days lesson is to find Turning points use dy over dx equals to zero to determine nature of turning points use d squared y second order derivative dx so dx squared um, such that if it is greater than zero then the turning point is max uh, minimum point. If it's less than zero, it's a maximum point. And if it is equal to zero, and it is a point of inflection. I hope you enjoy the video. See you soon.